Welcome back. This is the first of two videos where we'll be leveling and aligning the frames on the strong back. First step is to find a position for your laser level where it will intersect with the majority of the frames. For no particular reason, I started with the transom legs. The key here is to align the green laser level line to the black pencil line on the board. While easy to see the laser line in the dark, I need a flashlight to see my pencil line. And then I temporarily position with a clamp. While not shown here, I did use a level to ensure the strong back legs were vertical. Finally, I attached the strong back legs with two one and a quarter inch screws for each strong back leg. The transom strong back legs were cut with my CNC router to mate with the actual transom. However, if you remember in boat building video number 22, I added gussets to my transom for additional strength and therefore I need to cut out the strong back legs to have a better fit. With the transom strong back legs complete, we move to the front of the boat. While I should have done this earlier, I now transpose the water lines along each side of the strong back legs. Some of the strong back legs were too long, and even when touching the floor, the water line was well above the laser level. Therefore, I marked how much to cut off. In boat build video number 28, I made the strong back out of four foot by eight foot MDF board. What I didn't know is the boards were actually 49 inches wide. I took care to ensure that frame one was centered on the rung in the strong back. And then I more precisely align the water lines to the laser line. For the remainder of the frames, the outer edge of the strong back legs are 48 inches apart. Therefore, I had to measure to ensure I had a one half inch spacer between the outer edge of the strong back legs and the strong back itself. And again, I attach the strong back legs to the strong back with two one and one quarter inch screws. and repeat the process for frame three. With frames one through three position, I move on to the stem.
after cutting the stem jig at the frame one line, I position it onto the strong back. And then I temporarily position the stem onto frames one through three. At a later stage, I'll be removing some material from the notches in the frames to get the stem to properly fit. Here, I'm just aligning the frames to the frame lines on the stem. Truth be told, I thought I could force the stem into the frames at this point. At a later stage, I'll be doing some cutting, sanding, or planing to bring the stem down another half to three quarters of an inch. Before aligning frames 4 through 13 to the waterline, I plan to remove the frames to make them lighter and more manageable. My first step is to mark the intersection of the frame and the bulkheads at each of the stringer openings. The ability to see the bottom of the frames at eye level is an advantage in this step. And then I remove the frames from the bulkheads. In an earlier video, I commented that the silicon bronze screw heads strip quite easily. Well, that's what happened here. On frame 9, one of the screws attaching the bulkhead to the frame was actually behind the strong back leg. Therefore, I had to remove the strong back legs from the bulkhead in order to remove the frame from the bulkhead. Not only was this a lot of work, but it was actually quite difficult to align the bulkhead back to the exact same holes on the strong back legs. I leave frames 10 through 13 attached as they do not have notches for the stringer to fit into the bulkhead. In the next video, we'll be aligning frames 4 through 12 to the waterline. Till then, cheers.